All right, what's happening, everybody? How are we today? Steve Mingle Co. Final Web Design. If you haven't already, leave a like and subscribe. That's what helps. Uh, getting back to more and more videos. I know I took a little bit of a break, but that's kind of what this video wants to talk to you about. Uh, and I also know my lighting's not the best, but again, I kind of wanted to like this video talk about uh, where I'm at and how I live my life as a digital nomadic web developer, entrepreneur, businessman, uh, you name it, and how you can kind of at least get started or at least started thinking about how maybe there's a life for you by starting to learn some of these skills that I put out a lot of videos for that are in high demand, especially as we kind of go here into 2021. So again, this video is about learning to be a nomadic web developer, a nomadic web designer. And here's a few points as far as how you can get started yourself. Um, the first thing that I think is very important if you're moving into the nomadic lifestyle is that you're producing quality work, top, top of the line work. Everything you do, put a little bit more salt on it or put a little more sugar, whatever you want to say, but just put a little bit more effort into making sure that what you're providing to the customer, the client, your boss, However you approach your freelance or your web development um, job or your career, make sure that everything you're producing is the top of the end quality. Now I know sometimes there's time constraints, sometimes there's things that just aren't possible, or at least aren't possible with just one individual like yourself uh, working on them. However, when things are possible and when you can step up to the plate and you know put in a little bit more extra work to show that you're valuable even though you're not necessarily right there with them. <coughs> Sorry about that. So basically, number one is to just drive quality. Make sure that everything you're producing while living your nomadic, your remote lifestyle, uh, that you're producing very high quality of work. And that kind of goes into my second point, which is basically just work harder. Work a little bit harder. Like you don't have to get up in the morning and drive. You don't have to get ready for work. This is all time that you're saving. You don't have to go in there and chit chat with everybody and get down to what they did over the weekend. So you're able to take this time and utilize it to work a little bit harder. Put in a little bit more work. I know it's work and work is work, but if you're really into coding and programming and web development, you have to care about that quality product by putting in a little bit more work, an extra hour that you could, could say we were traveling or however you manage your time, because I know not everything's really done in eight hour, nine to five type blocks uh, with a remote type lifestyle, but you do need to put in um, a little bit more work. So that'll bring us to our third point. And the third point is really pretty important and that is just to have a good work-life balance. And as you can see here, I'm sitting down here in Miami today. Tomorrow I'll be in Minnesota. Um, then I'm leaving the country again in like two weeks. I mean, my life is constantly on the move. And that's been a big issue of why I haven't been able to create as many videos lately. I know at some points I just got to sit down, find a table by the pool uh, here in the little tiki jungle. But I have to make sure that I'm getting down to business and getting these videos made. And that's all where this work-life balance comes into. So you need to enjoy your life outside of work so that when you do sit down to get to work, you are ready to go and you're ready to produce. And a big thing about being a nomadic is I think it's a lot easier to enjoy life because you're able to kind of do the things that you want to do to be happy. If you're not happy sitting in a cubicle all day at your office, then having the ability to come out or travel or fly around and be where you want to be so that you can then um, get the work done to the quality that you need to get done, I mean, that's so beneficial. And you really need to find that work-life balance. Make sure that you're eating healthy for your personal life. Make sure that you're sleeping well. Make sure that you're getting exercise. These are all things that as a developer are going to play a bigger and bigger role because how you personally feel and how your body feels and how you feel within your life is going to affect the quality of work that you produce. So a big thing about being a nomadic uh, web developer is to ensure that you have a good work-life balance. And then I'll go into my last point, which is just to keep learning new skills. So say you're at your, you know, your remote position for the day and you get done early, take that extra time and go learn the next skill. See where the company is going with their technology, with their websites, with their applications, with any of the things that they are building uh, that you're involved in 
and make sure that you're continuing to learn these skills so that in a month down the road if they need to move a platform or they want you to do some back-end development with PHP or databases or you know something a little outside of your comfort zone you're learning new skills so that you can then fill in those positions that maybe they had, we're going to hire somebody else that was not going to um, you know, do your work, but was going to do that, and you can kind of help out with these things. So always learning new skills, and I think that's very important that any web developer is that you're continuing to learn new skills because uh, as a web developer, the technology is always changing, things are always changing, and you're going to need to continue to learn throughout your entire career. Although I will say you know, over the last maybe three, four, five years, things have slowed up a bit. I mean, it's not like the 90s, early 2000s, I mean, where there were just all these languages and frameworks and, you know, new, new technologies coming out that just made life very difficult for us. Uh, but now things are getting a little more streamlined, you know, with application development and stuff that gets a little more complicated. You got your back end, you know, whether they're Java or MongoDB or whatever is powering the database and such in the back. And then you got your front end doing React and Vue. So, yes, um, things are getting a little more complicated, but as long as you're continuing to learn, you're not going to have a problem, you know, growing with the position. So with that being said, uh, I just want to review is one, to drive quality, always produce a really good product. Two is to be sure to work a little bit harder remote. Not everything, you know, shows that you put in eight hours if there's nothing to show physically on the web or on your application or on your repository or however you're doing it. Uh, so always work a little bit harder to make sure that you go back to point one, which is to drive the quality. The third one is to have a good life work balance, and that's usually very easy to do, especially when you're out here in like these beautiful tropical scenes or whatever makes you happy. If you're happy in the mountains of Colorado, if you're happy in the beaches of Hawaii, I mean, whatever you can feasibly do and still control your business life and make sure that you're giving this quality work, it really shouldn't matter. You need to be uh, responsive and have good communication. That's maybe one thing I did forget, which I wanted to include, is that you need good communication because good communication is going to ensure that the project doesn't have any hiccups. And then the final thing would be to keep uh, learning new skills and to continue to evolve and grow so that your skill set never becomes obsolete. So guys, with that being said, again, a like, a subscribe, that stuff helps. Uh, catch your boy Steve Minkleco headed to Minnesota right now. And uh, we will see you guys in the next video. Peace.